In many different scenario, we need to create pie chart for our data analysis. But sometimes we have more than four or five category. Then pie chart did not display perfectly the data label. And the viewer cannot visualize or extract the useful information from the pie chart. So in this case, I just modify pie chart legend a little bit. And now you can see along with the legend, you can see actual value as well. Of course, in this video, I'm going to show you dual legend mean this is my data set. I analyze my whole data set using pivot table and then I display perfectly data legend along with the matching color with value as well as percentage. And this is a single chart. You can move this chart anywhere in your dashboard sheet. So how we can develop this useful chart specifically in Google Sheet for Excel. I already developed the video, but for Google Sheet, I will show you each and everything in this video. So don't skip the video. I will quickly show you each and everything and you will learn a lot of things. No further ado, let's go together. Consider I have this blank data sheet. The first thing I will select all of my data like this. Click on insert pivot table. You can see my data from column A to column D. In this case, I want to insert my pivot table on a new sheet and simply click create. The next thing we need to click on station field and move this to row field. The next thing we need to move watch count on a value field. Now you can see here a blank. We need to remove this blank row. So I will scroll a little bit down and simply move my station field into a filter area. Now we can uncheck blank simply, but later if we have more station or any new station, they will not display in my pivot table. So for this, I will click on filter by condition, click here and it's not empty. Simply hit OK and now you can see our blank row has been removed. The next thing we need to sort this data based on sum of watch count. So I will simply click here descending and sort by sum of watch count. The next thing we need to remove the grand total for now. Okay, so this is our pivot table data. The next thing I will move watch count one more time into a value field. And this time I will click here percent of grand total. So this is how we calculate the percentage. The next thing we write a very simple formula here. Simply type equal, select A to C and percent, quotation mark, space, open parenthesis, quotation mark again, and percent. And now select B to cell. And now simply type text function, open parenthesis, select B to cell, hit comma. For the format, I will type quotation mark, dollar, space, zero comma, zero, zero, quotation mark again, close parenthesis, and percent. Quotation mark again, and I will type closing parenthesis and now you can see our value has been properly inside parenthesis. Hit space, quotation mark again, and percent. And now we need to type text function. Open parenthesis, select C2 cell. Hit comma. For the format, quotation mark 0.00, percentage, quotation mark again, close parenthesis, and hit enter. Accept the suggestion. If you don't accept the suggestion, for example, you can simply drag this formula again as well. I will increase the width of column and for now I will close pivot table editor. The next thing we need to simply click here, type equal and select B2 cell and simply hit enter and accept the suggestion. I will leave the header as it is and I will just select my whole data set. If you think you have more data set in future, don't worry. In pie chart, it will auto skip the value which has zero. So for example, I select range including blank row. Don't worry, it will not display this blank as well. I will click on insert chart. In this case, I will click on donut pie chart. I will click on customize pie chart. In this case, I want, let's say I want 35% the whole size. For the slice label, I will click no. I will scroll a little bit down and click on legend. In this case, I want either left or right legend. 
Now you can see my legend has properly display actual value as well as percentage. For now, I will decrease the size of my pie chart. I will click inside the pie chart and now you can see the square appear and I will decrease the size of my pie chart. Okay, so each line now display properly my legend along with the value percentage. The next thing we need to colorize them. I will click one of my legend. So if I click a single click, this will select the entire legend. If you click again, it will select specific legend. In this case, I will choose the text color based on my standard color. Now I will click anywhere and click again on the box. If you want to bold all of the text, you can simply click. But for now, you can see this is two line. So you just need to decrease the size of pie chart. And now you can see perfectly display our legend on each line. And the last thing, you can simply create a new worksheet. Click here, click on the chart, control C, click here, control V to paste it on a new worksheet. That is all about how you can use interactive pie chart with dynamic legend. I hope you learned something useful. If you like the video, please subscribe my channel for more video. And if you have time, please share this video as well. Thank you so much.